Goodfellas, directed by Martin Scorsese, is highly regarded as a classic in the gangster movie genre due to its realistic portrayal of events. The film's authenticity can be attributed to its basis on a true story, as it was adapted from Nicholas Pileggi's non-fiction book Wise Guy, which follows the life of Henry Hill, a member of the Lucchese crime family, and his associates James Burke and Thomas D. Simone. In 1978, Hill and 11 other members of an organized crime group participated in the most significant robbery in the United States at the time. They stole $5.9 million from a storage unit at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City. Today I'm bringing you the story behind Martin Scorsese's famous Goodfellas, so let's get started. Henry Hill, the main character in Goodfellas, portrayed by Ray Liotta, was born in 1943 to an Irish-American father and a Sicilian-American mother in the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. The area was known for its high concentration of mafia members, and Hill looked up to them from a young age. At 14, he left school to start working for Paul Vario, a capo in the Lucchese crime family, and became a member of the infamous Vario crew. Hill initially only picked up money from local rack and delivered it to the boss, but his responsibilities quickly increased to include arson, assault, and credit card fraud. After serving in the military in the early 1960s, Hill returned to a life of crime. Although his Irish heritage prevented him from becoming a made man, he became a highly active associate of the Lucchese family. One of Hill's closest associates during this time was James Burke, another Lucchese family associate, and friend of Paul Vario. Together they were involved in numerous crimes, including truck hijacking and arson. Burke also served time in the 1970s for extortion. Hill and Burke played major roles in the 1978 Lufthansa heist, and Hill was also involved in a point-shaving racket with the 1978-79 Boston College basketball team and ran a major narcotics operation, selling marijuana, cocaine, heroin, and quaaludes wholesale. Hill's involvement in the drug trade ultimately led to his downfall when he was arrested on trafficking charges in April 1980. Initially, he refused to cooperate with the police, but due to suspicions that some of his own associates were planning to kill him to prevent him from getting them into legal trouble, he began to provide information. It was Hill's testimony about the Lufthansa heist that led to the arrests of many other individuals involved and served as the basis for Wise Guy and Goodfellas. After testifying, Hill was placed in the Witness Protection Program, but he was removed after repeatedly revealing his true identity to others. Despite this, he was not tracked down and killed by his former associates and instead died of complications from heart disease on June 12, 2012, the day after his 69th birthday. Does the film Goodfellas accurately portray Henry Hill's life? The film Goodfellas starts in 1955 with Henry Hill taking an interest in the criminal activities of his Brooklyn neighbors when he was around 11 years old. Hill was born in 1943. This means that the film accurately depicts Hill's age at the time, a few years before he dropped out of school. The film follows Hill's rise through the ranks of the Mafia in the 1960s and arrives at the year 1970 when Hill, Jimmy, and Tommy, Joe Pesci, murder Billy Batts, a made man in the Gambino crime family. In 1974, Hill witnesses Jimmy brutally beating an errand boy to death, which causes him to question his future in the organization. The depiction of the Lufthansa heist in the film is accurate in terms of its placement in 1978. Two years later, Hill's drug addiction has reached a point where his paranoia about his criminal associates is at an all-time high, leading him to become an informant and enter the Witness Protection Program. The end credits of the film state that as of 1990, when the film was released, Hill was still part of the Witness Protection Program, but he had been arrested in 1987 for drug offenses and had divorced his wife Karen in 1989. But what about the other characters from the movie? Were they inspired by real people? First thing first, James Burke. Portrayed by Robert De Niro as Jimmy Conway in the movie, was the main mastermind behind the Lufthansa heist. Burke was born in 1931 to an Irish immigrant single mother in New York and spent his childhood in foster care and orphanages where he faced sexual and physical abuse. Despite his Irish-American heritage, Burke became a significant player in the criminal underworld of South Ozone Park and East New York 
work with Paul Vario's crew by the 1950s and earned the nickname Jimmy the Gent for his practice of tipping the drivers of stolen trucks. Burke was known for his violent nature and was believed to have ordered and possibly carried out the murders of most of the men involved in the Lufthansa heist. Following Henry Hill's testimony in 1982, Burke was sentenced to 20 years in prison for his involvement in the 1978-79 Boston College basketball point-shaving scandal and received another life sentence for a previous murder while in prison. Burke died in prison due to lung cancer in 1996. Karen Hill, played by Lorraine Bracco in the film, was born Karen Friedman in New York City in 1946 and raised in Long Island. She met Henry Hill through mutual friends while working at a dentist office in New York and their first date, a double date with Paul Vario Jr., was a disaster. Despite this, Karen and Henry began a relationship and eloped to North Carolina in 1965 when Karen was 19. They later had a large Jewish ceremony to appease Karen's parents and had two children, Greg and Gina. However, their marriage was strained when Henry went to prison on extortion charges in the 1970s and Karen was rumored to have an affair with Vario. When Henry faced prison again on drug charges in 1980, he testified for the government, entered the witness protection program, and took Karen and their children with him. The couple divorced in 1989 and Karen has since remarried and lived under an alias due to the notoriety from Wise Guy and Goodfellas. Thomas De Simone served as the inspiration for Tommy DeVito, played by Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. De Simone was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1950 to a mafia family and moved to New York City with his family. His extended family included mobsters like his grandfather and uncle who were bosses of a Los Angeles crime family and two brothers who were associates of the Gambino crime family in New York. De Simone became a member of the Vario crew through his sister's relationship with Jimmy Burke and committed his first murder at the age of 17. He was known for his violent tendencies and enjoyed killing people while often under the influence influence of cocaine. De Simone's most brutal murder was in 1970, when he beat and stabbed William Billy Bats Bentvena to death after getting into an argument with him. De Simone was also involved in the Lufthansa heist and the murder of Parnell Stax Edwards. He went missing in 1979 and was likely killed by the Gambino crime family in retaliation for the murder of Bentvena. Hill also alleged that De Simone was handed over to the Gambinos by Vario after attempting to rape Karen Hill, Henry's wife, and Vario's mistress. Paul Vario, renamed Paul Cicero, and played by Paul Sorvino, was the head of the operation responsible for many of the crimes committed by Thomas De Simone, Henry Hill, and James Burke. Vario was born in New York City in 1914 and was involved in organized crime with the Lucchesi family, eventually becoming a crew leader or capo. With his crew, Vario controlled most organized crime in the East New York neighborhood of Brooklyn near JFK Airport, which was a major source of income for the crew. Vario approved the plans of the Lufthansa heist and was known for his violence, once sending men with baseball bats to beat a restaurant's staff after a waiter spilled wine on his wife. Vario was arrested based on Hill's testimony and died in prison of a heart attack in 1988. Did you know that all these characters were based on real people and real events? Let me know in the comment section below.